record. Okay. Uh, welcome back, everyone. It's a 20 minute monsters by me, Torn Atkinson. Um, I did hit record, dummy. And um, today we're going to do E, the E entry from the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Monster Manual. Uh, last week I did D for Displacer Beast, and I asked everyone, what do you want to see for E? The short list was Etten, the two headed giant, Eye of the Deep. Was there something else? There was a freet, which is what I'm going to draw today. That was the winner. And there was something else I can't remember that began with E. It might have been Elf. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, today is going to be the Afrit, Afriti. So, as usual, we'll talk about, we'll look at the original art and we'll talk about the origin of the Afrit. Uh, and I want to remind everyone... Uh, if you're not already watching this on my YouTube channel, you can check out all my videos from this series on my YouTube channel, Torin Atkinson. I have a Patreon. I uh, have uh, my stream, which uh, is on Twitch. Every I do it every Sunday at 10 a.m. Seems to be a good time for me. And I'm on the Instagram at TorinAtkinsonArtist.com. Also, I'm on Reddit. I guess you can. I learned recently you can follow people on Reddit. I don't know why you would do that unless you're like a big Reddit guy. But today, I can get rid of all this. Is the Afrit? Dun 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 dun. That's not the layer I wanted to auto contrast. This is the layer I wanted to auto. So this is the original art uh, from the Monster Manual. And it is uh, by David A. Trampier again. Uh, you can't go wrong with David A. Trampier. Um, what do we need to know about the Afriti? Well, his size is large. Let me get my brush layer in here before we get too far in. Blue. Let's let's do. No, he's going to be red today. He's definitely going to be red. Nice dark red. Um, oh, that brush size is crazy. Let's get down to about 20. There we go. Uh, so, he is size L, 12 feet tall. The Afrit are creatures from the elemental plane of fire, just as jinn come from the plane of air. They are enemies of the jinn and will always attack when they encounter. An Afrit can be forced to serve for a maximum of 1,001 days or by causing it to fulfill three wishes. They are not willing servants, and they will seek to pervert the intent of their masters by or adhering to the letter of commands. Oh, I forgot uh, to add in some music. Uh, let's listen to Doma Molchat. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's playing. This is, I believe this is a Russian or possibly Ukrainian uh, techno band. 80s style, retro techno, you might call it. That's my Twitch channel. Okay, we got six people watching. Uh, that's great. Uh, and Afriti is able to do the following once per day. Grant out the three wishes, become invisible, assume gaseous form. So that's good to know. Gaseous form. Detect magic. Uh, polymorph self. Uh, create an illusion. Blah, 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 blah. Create a wall of fire. Produce flame. Pyrotechnics. Blah, 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 blah. And then it goes into how how many gold pieces can a free, can an Afrit carry? That's good to know. And of course they fly. They have a they have two speeds, the walk and the fly speed. I feel like my music is a little bit too loud. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Okay. And um I think I did that the wrong way. I'm gonna turn that back up there and turn down on my computer. Tell me if you, if if the music's too loud, tell me in the chat. I feel like it's not going to be for you guys. But it is for me. Because of technology. Um where were we? Blah 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 blah. Uh, after carrying excess weight, the Afriti must rest for six full turns. 
the Fabled City of Brass, Citadel of the Afreed is on the uh, Plane of Fire. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I feel like the description of what it looks like is over. Uh, they communicate by a limited form of telepathy. Okay. So that's the Afreet. And that's what we're going to be drawing today. Look at this guy. Let's take a good look at his uh, visage. And now, I did go to Wikipedia um, and find, uh, to find some other uh, instances. Oh, you know what I didn't do? He's on... The, this guy is on the cover of the AD&D &D, uh, Dungeon Master's Guide. Let's see if I can find a picture of that. There it is. Let's look at this quickly. Sorry, I didn't think to put this in my document. Did it go in? There it is. Oh, it's so small. But there he is. I guess he's polymorphed himself or enlarged himself because that's that's taller than 12 feet. Also, it's, the, it's such so the resolution is so bad on this guy. <laughs> I kind of want to find a better. Uh, I don't want to take up everyone's time looking for this picture, but this is so low res. It's just annoying. This is, uh, well, it's kind of better. Anyway, he's got a, uh, a sword. There, that's a little bit better, even though the color is all fucked up. Oops, pardon my language. Kids might be watching. Um, I did hit record, right? I just want to check. Yes. So we're already seven minutes in and I haven't drawn a thing. But look at all that lightning and fire coming off of him. That's fun. Okay, so we'll keep that. We'll keep this. Um, here's another picture from Wikipedia. Look at this cute little guy. I guess there he is, carrying gold. I like the... <laughs> I like... I quite like this this rendition. So this, I guess this is an, a, a, originally an Islamic monster. Um, he looks... He's got... He looks like he's from Thailand. With what he's wearing in this outfit. Here's another one. Just having a nice picnic in the park <laughs> with, I don't know, it might be a woman, might be a man, might be something in between. Uh, and he's wearing like, I don't know, what do you call that thing, a sari? No, it's not a sari. But uh, this, is this, is this guy wearing anything? Oh yeah, he's just wearing a little, to cover his, his, his uh, private area. Okay, great. All right, let's get to drawing. Um, I haven't really thought what I'm going to do. What kind of what should the Ifriti be doing in this picture? Anyone have any suggestions in the chat room? In the old chat box? Let me get back to that. Um, I feel like he should be. I don't want him standing. Maybe he should be. Maybe he should be. Oh, that line of action in there again. I don't know. Oh, uh, what time is it? It's 10.54. 10.54 plus 20 minutes equals 11.14. Right? That's my semi-self-imposed deadline. Um, <laughs> I'm like doing a model runway. That seems silly. Okay, let's not do that. Um, hmm. What does an Efreet do? Maybe he's carrying gold. I guess he's... Let's get him carrying a big thing of gold. Chest of gold. On his... I'm an Afriti. I'm carrying gold. I feel like that's not even enough gold. Let's really get him carrying some gold. Big, big things of gold. And he's got, yeah, this might, this, I feel, I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Right. Oh, oh, gold, gold. And then let's get his. Really exaggerating here. But that's fun. He's like Atlas. Rawr. And I'm going to have him wearing a 
there's a little I'm gonna call it a sorry. It's not a sorry, but I'm gonna call it a sorry because I don't I don't have time to look it up. And then we're gonna have him is this like a I feel like this is like oh god, how am I gonna draw this? If he's if he's really big, is he is he in his twelve foot form here? Oh, and somebody should be riding. Okay, this is gonna be this. I'm okay. I'm getting. I'm getting an idea. We'll have his master riding on top of all of the gold. I might have to change this. Here's. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. Oh, I'm so mad. I want to. I, we won't get to his face yet, but he's got his muscles. Because he's a very muscly guy. And then this is all like bags and chests and things. Bags and chests. Bags and chests. What happened to my music? It went away. Oh. No, I don't want to sign into the store. Fuck off. iTunes. Why am I still using it? Probably wearing like a lot of bunch of jewelry and stuff, right? Let me take another look. Kind of, yeah. He's got like a wristband here. Sorry, this is the wrong layer. His bracelet, I guess, and stuff like that. Okay, that's great. Let's keep this. Let's keep this handy for reference. And the other one, too. We can put those on the same layer if we wanted to. Why not? Okay. Um, so this is all going to be like treasure chests and stuff, I guess. And his head. Okay, let's do. Let's let's. Let's rough in the head here. He's got that big nose. It's huge. Everybody's gonna rub a frizzle, frazzle, grumble, grumble. while I'm drawing this. He's got like a weird brow thing going on. My eraser is too big. That's cool. Oh, he's got, but he's got a, you know what I like about the medieval one? Okay, let's take another look here at my other reference. Look at those fangs. They didn't really draw the fangs. I mean, he's got big, he's kind of got fangs in the D&D &D versions. But these ones are like tusks. And I like that. And I want to use, and I'm going to incorporate that. This one too. Look at those tusks. Let's, 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 uh, let's get some of this ancient mythology reference in here. Oops. Going down. Going down like that. I don't feel like it doesn't have enough space in his face for all that. The way I originally drew it. But we'll, we'll figure it out. He's in a free. He ain't a free to know ghost. Something like 
like that. I feel like they're not big enough. They gotta stand out. He's a magical man. Right? And then, this guy kind of has like big elephant ears. How are the ears in the original D&D? Ah, they're biggish. Okay, that's cool. Let's draw some big ears. And he's got like fire for hair, which makes sense. Must be hot up there. My eraser's too small. Okay. That's his cheek. His ear will be like really big Dumbo ears. And so we can get the earrings in there and everything. Earrings. Multiple earrings. This is kind of a messy drawing. And he's so mad he's got... Look at all those... Wrinkles. Okay. That's his arm. Does he have... He does have black fingernails. So let's get those in there. I feel like the anatomy... It's all gone wrong on this side. So let's see. Shoulder. Shoulder. That's a little bit better. What's happening down here? Rib cage. Pectoral muscle. Deltoid. LB. Good old LB. Don't know how this is gonna work with all. Oh, let's just let's 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 just cover it all up with ears and flames and stuff. How about that? Let's disguise my poor grasp of anatomy with special effects. Let's get some nipples on this guy too. Oh, such a messy fangs. Okay, cool. Ugh. Should he have like? I feel like you know, if you're gonna have flame for hair, then you gotta have flame for armpit hair too. Am I wrong? I don't think so. Let's get some flaming armpit hair in there. <laughs> oh no, Photoshop's doing that thing again. Okay. Great. Looking a little better. Let's get some. Jewelry on him. I don't know what he's wearing exactly. He's got like a bandolier. I'm not going to draw that bandolier. That's going to take forever. There's no time. There's no time for bandoliers. Give him some leg bracelets too. With gems and jewels and... I don't know. Things. Oh! Facebook... That's Facebook. Photoshop. Why you gotta do me like that? I'm doing for time. It was, well, I can't remember. I think it was 11.14 was my deadline. I erased it. Okay, let's uh, feel like we've got the main... The main features that we want to have. Don't worry too much about shading right now, but let's get some suggestions in there. Another jewelry thing. And we'll draw in this hand. With the black claws. We must not forget the black claws. And, uh, yeah. It's gonna be tricky to do in a timely manner. Let's uh, let's start with a. This guy's sitting on a chest. Sitting on a chest. Let's 
He's like, I got a, an free to carry all my money. Any, is anyone chatting anything? I can always forget to check in. Uh, now I have the image in my head of an Afrit camp counselor, or what have you, and he's sitting in the center of a circle of kids as they roast marshmallows on him, and he tells stories. Well, an Afrit would have a lot of great stories. I agree to that. Um, let's focus now on... Let's get some knuckles in there. And then I was doing this guy. I was doing Mr. Elf. Elf on an Afrit. Um, he's got his headband. He's probably also, like, wearing gold. He's got his mullet, his elf mullet. He's going to be like, go, get me more gold. I'm not rich enough. Uh, I might be overthinking this, but I'm thinking like maybe he doesn't want to put his leg so close. To that fire. It's a magical fire, right? Uh, yeah, so he's sitting on a chest, and there's maybe a couple other chests. And then just bags. And of course, there'll be like millions of gold pieces falling behind the bag. <laughs> falling. Whoops. <laughs> Should have got some like webbing or something. Oh, yeah. Bags. What else? It's just chests and bags, right? What else does treasure come in? You could have a statue of some kind. I don't really want to draw a statue. Draw the Nike of Samothrace. <laughs> Everyone will know what that is just by looking at it at a, at a moment. It's treasure, people. That's all you need to know. <laughs> this is silly. But I like it. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, draw his leg now. His other leg and his foot. The heel. He's got plantar fasciitis. I guess he's going to have, like, toe claws, too, right? Why wouldn't he? The other one will be, like, here-ish. Drawing an Efreet. Drawing an Efreet. funky, but whatever. Clocks are ticking. I only got three minutes left. Three minutes! like he's not angry enough. 
Like he should also have bigger eyebrows. Don't think this is going to be my most popular um, 20 minute monster, but maybe I should have drawn an Etten. Maybe more people should have voted for Etten. Doesn't matter. It's good enough. He's like, he's got no neck though. How's it looking? Let's get rid of my, these guys. Feel like we need some more things on the bottom here. Really, the light source should be coming from him, shouldn't it? <laughs> oh well. He's on fire. He is quite literally on fire. Yeah. Do my bidding. Just to make it clear what's going on. Chest. Maybe it should be open. Now it doesn't look like a chest anymore. Because I made it open. Let's move everything slightly over. Everyone can tell at a glance that that's a necklace. And, uh, oh, a sword. Sure. Sword's identifiable. In fact, let's stick a couple more in here. Swords are valuable, right? up here. I don't know where they are. They're just... I think... Yeah, my time's up. And I'm feeling like we're done here. Some shadow behind this guy. And, uh... That's, um... That's the Efreet. Six people came and watched. I'm very, uh, I'm gratified that you all came. Um, next week will be F. What F creatures are there in Dungeons and Dragons that we could draw together? Um, Furbolg? Is that a AD and D? Oh, you know what? I have my, hang on. I have my monster manual right here. Let's check. Let's quickly check what the options are for F. We got... Oh my god, it's very short. <laughs> the F list is very short. We got Flightless Bird. So Penguin, I guess. Frog, Giant. And Fungi, Violet. Only three entries for F. But if you have a... If you have a uh, vote... Can get in contact with me one way or the other. Facebook, Instagram, my YouTube channel, where these will be posted momentarily. And uh, it's Christmas, still Christmas morning, where I am. I'm gonna meet some friends in uh, sometime today. And uh, it's gonna be awesome. So, here we go. 20 minute monster. Let's zoom out. 
minute. Monster. Efreet. Is it Efreet or Efreeti? I'm gonna check now. Thanks for coming, Marvin. Efreet. I think it's just Efreet. I think maybe more than one is an Efreeti. D and D. Efreet. Oh, singular Efreeti. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna go with Efreet. Um, I'm gonna put my name over here. And uh, we are done. Let's zoom in so you can see in all of its glory. There he is, the Efreet. Carrying the goods for his master. Once again, thanks for coming. Visit me on the social media. I'm going to stop recording now.